A dual mode tracking solution taps both GSM networks and two directional satellite networks such as Iridium. Typically it will rely on GSM until that coverage is no longer available and then it will automatically switch to satellite coverage. And that's the key word, automatically. For example, Blue Sky Network's Hawkeye 5300 dual mode tracking solution not only switches automatically, but even allows operators to predetermine the threshold at which the switch should take place. Like a phone will show signal strength in bars, you can select for Iridium coverage to kick in when GSM coverage fades to the equivalent of 3 bars or 2 bars and so forth. The main benefit being derived from dual mode tracking solutions is that they deliver both constant connectivity and value. Okay, so far we have discussed service, two directional satellites and GSM, and hardware such as Blue Sky Network's dual mode Hawkeye 5300. Now let's discuss the function of this hardware and service, which is to capture data and send it to a back-end system. After all, it's in the back-end where position reports and other transmissions are transformed from kilobytes into actionable business information. In all cases, satellite tracking data has two primary uses, tracking of assets and reporting. And while live tracking data is critical to ensuring the safety of your people and the security of your assets, the reports delivered by your system are a tangible way to drive real return on investment, and that's tracking tool number one, using reports to drive ROI. Primarily, reports are used to spot anomalies in your historical data. The amounts of data received can be vast, and it's uncovering and eliminating the variances where business and operating efficiencies can best be realized. This so-called uncovering is best done through analyzing the reports your satellite tracking solution can create. In addition to a macro view of the data, your reporting tools should let you do a deep dive and create micro views as well. Many aviation users create OOOI reports, or OOI, which stands for On, Off, Out, In, to gather takeoff and landing insights to determine downtime of an aircraft, as every minute in the air is when an aircraft is driving profits. For land vehicles and fleets, some organizations will use reports to drive ROI by a micro-focus on the cost savings they can realize by spotting fuel overages. And it's never as simple as vehicle X used 10 gallons while vehicle Y used 50. Your reports can and should get into very specific pieces of information. Match fuel usage against hours of operation, against speeding reports, against idling time. All data points that can be derived from your tracking data, and a much clearer picture will come into view. Additionally, your satellite tracking solution can be synchronized with the vehicle's onboard diagnostic system to get into more granular data points, such as maintenance schedules and diagnostic trouble codes, which then allow a fleet manager to keep a more consistent finger on the pulse of their fleet. The next screenshot shows an example report a company may use to view idling times across their fleet. This is a small sample, but it does show how one simple report built on your tracking data can give you immediate insights into areas for improvement across an entire fleet. Based on this report, a fleet manager or business owner would likely pay closer attention to the tracking data delivered by the vehicles toward the left and follow up in myriad ways. Some back-end systems, such as Skyrouter, provide what are called playback reports where you can view historical data, and clearly this idling time report gives you reason to do so. Perhaps the reason the first van's idling time was so high was that it was parked in a McDonald's for an hour with the AC running. A playback would allow you to view this information for yourself. As this example shows, reports are a great tool for spotting anomalies, but finding them is never enough. You must be able to use the information you find to return to the tracking solution itself, view the data in real time or historical, and uncover the causes of your anomalies. The fewer anomalies, the more smoothly a fleet is running and the more easily fleet-wide change may be implemented. Kind of like before plotting any course of action, a good leader will ensure steps are taken to make sure everyone's on the same page. So you gather your satellite tracking data, create reports, and fix anomalies to get everyone on the same page, and then you can plot a course of action to deliver efficiency improvements. Going beyond where are they now to what does this cost me is probably the main change in what's currently driving the satellite tracking industry. Which is why when you're making an investment or a reinvestment in a tracking platform, communication must figure heavily into your thinking. And we're not just talking about communicating your business needs to your provider or your reporting results to executives. What we're talking about now is direct voice, text, and data communication from the back end to each tracking device. 
This is partly why keeping your reporting data and communications on the same platform is critical, and a large part of what makes a satellite tracking solution into a business solution. So while person-to-person -person communication to and from anywhere in the world should be expected of your satellite tracking solution, two-way machine-to-machine -machine communication must be part of the plan as well. This is tracking tool number two, machine-to-machine -machine communication to increase system flexibility and responsiveness and further drive ROI. Machine-to-machine -machine communication can involve everything from being able to remotely update reporting frequencies, which can deliver huge cost savings, as well as remotely adjust roaming capabilities, automatically changing reporting and event triggers, such as speeding or altitude, sending geofence rules, and much, much more. Machine-to-machine -machine communications have become an indispensable tool for anyone involved in fleet management, flight following, or any kind of satellite tracking. And although we have been consistently using the term satellite tracking solutions, we could probably reconsider and call them comprehensive situational awareness platforms that deliver business and safety improvements. So, what does a comprehensive situational awareness platform look like and act like? We believe it looks and acts like Blue Sky Network's Skyrouter. Nearly a decade ago, Skyrouter was basically the first tool of its kind a complete tracking and communications portal for every asset and operator under your watch. Today, Skyrider has been revamped to include features such as multiple maps, which you can see here, more robust reporting, a compound rules engine for endless business customizations, geofencing to both increase oversight and improve operator efficiencies, and much more. Additionally, for a satellite tracking solution to be a business solution, it must conform to existing business procedures and platforms, which is why Skyrouter is a 100% open platform capable of capturing data from and feeding it to just about anywhere. As mentioned, third-party devices, legacy systems, custom data feeds, none of it poses a problem. This is just a snapshot of Skyrouter, of course. If you would like to see it in action, just go back to our website and request a demo, or call us in San Diego, California at 858-551-3894. We've covered the service, such as Iridium, the hardware, such as Blue Sky Network's dual mode Hawkeye 5300, and the software, Skyrouter for example. And knowing a bit about these three fundamentals is critical, but there's much more to consider when investing or reinvesting in a satellite tracking solution, and it helps to keep it simple, so here are five tips or guidelines to keep in mind. First, make sure to use a next generation solution. This means one that does more than just track like the first generation of solutions did. You do need location tracking, of course, both live and historical, but you also need two-way communication, both between people and machines. Additionally, easy and complete integration with any and all solutions you may currently be using is critical. Second, ensure flexibility within your solution. The freedom to set parameters remotely is a good example. Being able to change things on the fly should be an expected deliverable from any serious satellite tracking solution. Third, do not consider tracking a capital expenditure. It's an investment and as such must drive ROI. Today's solutions are far more than just watching stuff. They are true business tools. But one mistake many people make is simply not tapping the depth and breadth of the power within the platform. With the right kind of reporting, and the right kind of intelligence driving your reporting, ROI is assured. Fourth, having one platform to track every asset, driving, flying, cruising, or walking, is critical, as is having one provider for your A to Z tracking needs. Passing the baton from one platform or provider rarely makes sense in any kind of business, and especially not in tracking. It's far too easy for assets and much more to get lost along the way. Finally, one size rarely, if ever, fits all, which is why there are GSM, satellite, and dual mode solutions available. Know your terrain and know the needs of each asset under your watch. Some may need only a GSM solution, some, like aircraft, pure satellite, and some, a little bit of both. Again, one provider and one platform for these varied needs makes good business sense. With all this in mind, and knowing a bit about the various satellite tracking solutions at their disposal, some people will still push exclusively for GSM-only solutions as they believe they're cheaper. And while that's true in the short run, it's most certainly not true when you take into consideration the total cost of ownership and the risks. The case for GSM-only products typically goes like this. With a GSM solution, I may be out of coverage some of the time, but I usually get the info on the back end and I save a few bucks. What could go wrong in 20 minutes? What could go wrong in 20 minutes? Well, anything. Everything. 
Spend five minutes online and you'll find endless horror stories from various shipping companies, explorers, and contractors who were out of range for just a few minutes when everything went haywire. There are even some places in the world where criminals specifically target vehicles and assets in GSM dead zones. Okay, maybe if you're in the bread delivery business, being in a GSM dead zone is no big deal. But if you're making time-sensitive shipments, or if you're working in oil and energy, or if you're carrying hundreds of thousands of dollars in equipment, constant connectivity is a necessity. The good news is that with a dual-mode solution, constant connectivity is now cost-effective too. The dual-mode truly delivers the best of both worlds. So a good satellite tracking solution requires a good satellite tracking solutions provider. And here's what you should consider. Their reputation. How long have they been in business? What's been said about them by other people in your industry? What do their detractors say? Which is probably more important than what their top customers say. What's the breadth of their offerings? Do they have solutions for land, sea, air, and personnel? Do they offer hardware, software, support, service, repairs, and so on? Also, what kind of clients do they have? Are there organizations in your industry? Do they have A-list clients? It's one thing to provide personal trackers for hikers, and entirely another to provide complete coverage for a fleet of trucks patrolling a hotly contested international border. Consider the technology itself. Do they use the right satellite network for your needs? Do they then have the right plan for your business and offer the right costs for your budget? Is the solution flexible? Will the software sync to your back end? Does the hardware pull data from your onboard diagnostics? Does it enable machine-to-machine -machine communication? And will the same people who built the hardware and the software be the same people to connect you to the service and, more importantly, to provide support when you need it? Make sure to choose a reliable provider that serves your industry, that offers a complete platform for all your tracking needs, that builds and supports its own products, and that offers flexibility on every level, hardware, software, and service. Do all these and you're sure to enjoy a return on your investment. That concludes this Blue Sky Network presentation on satellite tracking tools and tips to drive ROI. We thank you for your time and encourage you to visit our website to learn more about our solutions for tracking on land, air, and sea, or to schedule a free demonstration of our tracking software. Thanks again.